up guys, today I'm going to show you the shadow effect. You see that I already have a new composition opened, I already have the text that I want to open, color, all that stuff. Okay, what you're going to want to do now, I'm going to change the camera view real fast. To where it looks 3D and stuff like that. Press P for the position. Click the stopwatch and then you can start to change the text the way it moves around and stuff like that. This done. See how it moves, flips around, all that stuff like that. We're gonna use the shadow effect. In order to use the shadow effect, you might want to click on the stopwatch. In order to use the shadow effect, what you're gonna want to do: right click, down here, new, solid. Okay. You see it goes black. And you're gonna go down here to simulation and go to shatter. Okay. When I first rendered this, I seen this. And I played it. It does look shadow stuff, but it's not black. It just looks stupid. In order to do this, you're going to want to go up here where it says wire, wireframe plus forces. You want to go to rendered. And it goes black. You can change the shape and stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to leave it out the way it is. Okay, now that you have that done, you can change force. Make the radius and stuff a little bit big, bigger. Strength and stuff. have that it's time to render it. In order to render this what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to composition add rendered queue and type in what you want. Okay, thank you this has been a Sinister's tutorial video and please subscribe to our page.